seldom in your life do you get to meet your dreams, not once but twice, because Unimog over there, and look who we have here, and look who we have to present it. Please introduce yourself and tell us what this is. Hey there, my name is Jay Couch with Couch Off-Road Engineering, and this is the old school Galenda wagon, or Mercedes G-Class, G-Wagon. So what makes this guy pretty cool compared to the ones that you see going down the road with the very wealthy soccer moms is this is the old school guy. So it's the turbo diesel. Um, it's actually a regular two wheel drive or four wheel drive, not, not uh, the central locking diff stuff. Right. Zero electronics, any of that. But of course you can't take, we don't just leave a 1983 G wagon alone. We have to upgrade to the more modern series diesel motor. That's still uh, no computer control. We upgraded the transmission to a five-speed, so we have an overdrive, so you could actually cruise cross country at freeway speed. But then the coolest thing is we did portal axles with central tire inflation on this. Ah! So that's the magic. <laughs> Look at that. Yes. Very cool. Now, um, can you explain CTIS to, to, to people who just don't quite understand? Yeah. So the C CTIS is an acronym for Central Tire Inflation System. And what that does for us is you can see the airline that's coming out through the center of the hub that then runs into the tire through here. So I'm able to select deflating or inflating on the fly, depending on our terrain conditions. If it's a, if I've got a rooftop tent on this guy and I'm getting heavy crosswinds across Nevada, I'll beef up those rear tires. I'll put them up to like 60 PSI. If I'm hitting a bunch of washboard across the desert, start deflating it, start deflating it until it feels comfortable. The once you're off the washboard, bring it back up. It's is, nice. Is there a compressor on board or do you yep. have, okay. We have an onboard electric. Uh, we did the ARB compressors for this because of their international availability. Right. The performance is pretty good. They're compact. Um, but yeah, onboard compressor. So on top of that, we have a, a quick connect under the hood so you can inflate the guys who can't afford the CTIS, which. <laughs> <laughs> and there's plenty of those too, I bet. So explain to me, I mean, we are really close to having the Dakar race happen yet again, but I'm yeah. looking at it, that looks yeah. familiar. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so the, the Touring there, that's uh, the who you don't want to run into in Africa. <laughs> yeah, you don't right. want to run into those guys, but those are the nomads of the dunes that'll uh, rob you blind and not leave you alive behind. <laughs> and, and you're talking from experience. And speaking of experience, <laughs> this vehicle actually has spent some time in Baja, and that's kind of one yeah. of the things it was built for. Am I correct? Yeah, you are totally correct. So this is for cruising down to the southern tip of Baja. You know, it's fuel efficient ish. Uh, you know, you're at, uh, with the tent on, I think we're about 16 miles per gallon, 15 and a half. That's actually really good. Not bad. When I have the tent off, I'm at 22. Wow. 22. Cause the, uh, my setup hangs over the front. So it's a big wind dam, but mm -hmm. we do that cause we do a deck on the rear uh -huh. and then the overhang keeps the sun out of your eyes. And it also keeps in the winter time, the snow from building up in the windshield. Now I heard a funny story when we were walking past this earlier, you were pointing out this graphic, which is a cool looking graphic, but there's a problem. Yeah. Don't, make a graphic for your tire and as time goes on when they stop making the tire you got to research and find the old discontinued tires to match it because trust me I've, I've gotten and i put some newer series ones they're like hey that's not the tire you got so yeah <laughs> bad so, idea just knowing people out there and how we <laughs> interact with them i totally see that uh, okay let's talk about the back real quick before we uh look inside that's right. So this guy, it's pretty, you know, she's a straightforward. It came from, I, this one was actually over in the Netherlands. Uh -huh. And then I've done some stuff over in Africa and whatnot. Not particularly with this truck. It was getting ready to go there, but we opted for one of the Mogs. But carry a full-size 37-inch tire on board. This rig weighs almost 6,000 pounds empty. Wow. It is a chunky monkey. Is, this thing is heavy. It's heavy. I love this. Yes. Can, can you? Yeah, I gotta focus on that because that is very much true. <laughs> Although this can, this can do highway speeds, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I just can't do 85. You know, well, I can't hold 85. I mean, it'll do it. So what's kind of what's interesting with this motor when you drive this rig, uh -huh. you drive it like a gas engine. Really, it it's got torque, but it's got rev power. Like I mean, this thing revs out at almost 6,000 RPM for a diesel. Yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> Five cylinder. Five cylinder, 2.8 turbo diesel, direct injected. It's an OM602 DHLA, which is a rare one. This is actually the very first Sprinter motor. The Mercedes Sprinter oh, yeah. had this motor. The first generation Sprinter, then that, that's what we're talking the European about. European generation. Ah, the one that did not come here. <laughs> exactly. Right. So, so let's, uh, I mean, obviously you are set up for off roading, and that's including. <laughs> yeah, some substantial rock sliders that go down and grab into all the spots necessary. Does your um, company build this? Build yeah, we actually components? custom build each. Everything on this thing was custom made to it. And pretty much everything we do 
is custom made. That's why our stuff, our work's very expensive, but time is not cheap. And it takes a lot of experience to make things correctly and crafted well, especially if you're gonna, you know, reflect the German quality on this, so. So let's have a look at the inside of this because oh, yeah. it's, it's- Back to 1983. There we go, whoa, time whoa, whoa. machine. <laughs> so we did change out the seats to, I was gonna do the nice German um, uh, Schielmann seats, but Honestly, I'm pretty rough on this thing and I got sharp objects in my pockets and to uh, put a hole in a $3,000 seat is not what I was going to do. But I the back's you. where all the magic is at. The, that butterscotch brown. Ooh, Ooh, look at that. Hate it or love it. It's just what it is. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that is absolute period right Isn't there. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's just absolutely epic. And mm -hmm. funny story, I don't know if you already know this, maybe you do, but these were originally done by Pook <clears throat> and uh, with Mercedes for the Shah of Iran. Shah got overthrown. They did all this R&D for these vehicles and like, we could have a market for them. Right, well, the German military eventually got their hands Bingo. on them. And Bingo. then a lot of other militaries yeah, got their hands yeah, on them. And then yeah. other people started mimicking them. Yeah. I believe it was Italian, uh, I forgot the name of the company that made something very similar to this as well. Wow. Until you've driven, so a lot of people are gonna poo poo the G-Wagon. I, I get it. I was one of those guys too. Until I started driving them 10 years ago, I'm like, man, these things are solid. They're just, the visibility is unparalleled. Yes. Um, they, they are solid. You can drive through about anything. Yes, they're, the new ones are complicated and electronic, of course. This is not, this is not complicated. It's, sim it's simple, but I'm telling you, just driving it feels good. I know that sounds weird, but they just feel good. They handle off-road. They don't articulate very well. But I don't know why, but magically they get through everything. Even without the portals, they just do very well, so. It's a question of balance in some cases. And I gotta tell you, um, after watching Roman driving that thing that he called a G-Wagon, looking at this <laughs> is a refreshing. Roman had a brand new one. I, it's, it's, it's a long story. Watch the video, it's out there. So shall we give this a quick go? Yeah, yeah. All you right. ready to give a runner? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's do All it then. Right. Cool, man. And park brake, old school. All right. Yep, and this is just normal car. And it, you rev this one up. Like, don't be afraid of it. It likes, <laughs> it likes the revs. So we're gonna loop hard left, if you can make that turn. Yep. We'll loop around the big Quonset, and then we'll go back into, you wanna go through the course? Um, whatever the guys want me to do. <laughs> <laughs> <It's>, sure, <laughs> yes. <laughs> sure. So. After the Kwanzaa, we cut a left. Certainly, it's not quite like my Suzuki Samurai. <laughs> okay. Oh, good, you're a Suzuki guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 1.3 or nothing. Heck yeah. Or a 1.6 sidekick. That's, that's a good call. That's a good call. That's a good call. Up here in Colorado, it is. Yes. So like I said, I'm a samurai guy, so this is my my uh, graduated from Suzukiville. Ah. We'll run right down through here. Well this is this is uh, several steps above. Yeah, the, the power that... steering's nice. Yes. The diesel's nice. The portals are nice. The CTS is nice. <laughs> yeah, we'll just go all the way through this canyon now. So when we hit this in the side-by-sides, I'm coming at this approach at about 50 miles an I hour. bet you are. <laughs> Get a lot of air just it right is, here. So this one gets you set up for the gnarly one, because that's the gut dropper when you hit that at 50, because oh, you're coming into a turn. Should I go straight? Yeah, straight on, man. All right. And I'm going to keep on going. I'll put you into four. There you go. You're in. This thing, the four low and four high are synchronized. Oh, okay. So you could actually, while you're still rolling slightly, you can get it into four low. <laughs> this ride's incredible. It's a, it's the like ride a tank, is right? buttery. <laughs> you know, it's we, just a nice rig to drive. Oh, yeah. You know, I can see why you'd want to take this out of Baja. Yeah. You, you know, I don't want automatics. I want a manual just for the reliability. Or if I mistakenly drain a battery, I can roll start right, it. Right. You know, all that stuff. So 
So, simple folks. If you want a real G-Wagon, this is a real G-Wagon. Everything else is fluff, and I say that <laughs> in all sincerity. <laughs> this is awesome. Thank you so much, man. Very this welcome. is awesome. Very welcome. See you guys. <laughs>